Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and today we're doing different variations of teaser. So teaser on the long box is already complicated enough with just the arms up and down, and then there's arm circles, and then there's the leg circles. But then there's like so many other variations. So let's go through them, right? I'm on one heavy spring, and you don't want to be too far back on the box. I see a lot of people too far back on their box, and then you don't have the support of the straps, and so you definitely want to tease your balance by being closer to the edge, and then you roll up, and that could be your teaser. Teaser one on the long box would be arms up and down, right? A second lap of teaser would be the arm circles without changing the shape of your body. And then the third typical teaser people do would be the leg circles, and they can be as big as your upper body doesn't move, right? So it's all happening just there. Now, if those are going really well for you, so that would be three sets, you could add on and do like a fourth set, and the fourth set could either be shave, which is obviously closer to being up by your forehead, right? Some of us, like me, this is kind of where my shave is right now, pushing from the back. Um, if you didn't want to do that, or maybe you wanted something extra, you could take your arms to one side and your legs to the other side. <sighs> and keeping both straps reaching, and your arms and legs moving together would be your challenge there. And then, you know, I'm sure you can get really creative with a lot of other variations you could do in your teaser. Um, those are the typical ones that I use and I see. Um, being mindful that the arms are always connected to the back. So if you're feeling it in your pecs or your chest, it's because you are. And if you're losing control of the carriage, it's because you're not connected to your back. Um, you want to make sure that when you're doing teaser that no one can see what the hardest part of teaser is for you, right? So if so, typically it's when you close the spring, you go to open it again. That's the hardest part, but no one should see that when you're moving, and that shows that you're super connected and you're not going, oh, let go, okay, work, oh, let go, okay, work. Like keeping the work consistent throughout. So I really hope you like that. Give them a try. Do a picture. Tag me in it at Leslie, L-E-S-L-E-Y dot Logan um, so I can see how awesome you're doing and how you're enjoying these videos. Make sure um, that you comment below and let me know what you're looking for. And we'll continue to put these out here for you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Meredith, and I'm one of the people creating online PilatesClasses.com. One of the things that I love most about this project is that we're building the very first free online catalog of Pilates exercise how-to videos. We release three new videos each week. People often leave comments asking Leslie to explain a specific exercise, and you can do that too. And if you love watching these videos and believe in the project of creating this catalog, you can support it by joining Leslie every week in her online mat and reformer classes. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash subscribe.